above the sea. Look how pretty that little blue fish is. I don't see any clownfish, do you? Uh, no. Sorry, Jupiter. I don't have any clownfish in my aquarium. <laughs> so fresh and clean. Such a good boy. Don't you like clownfish? I like them very much. But clownfish live in salt water, and this is a freshwater aquarium. <laughs> oh! <laughs> We'd better get going, Jupiter. Bye, Dr. Jean. Thanks. You're welcome, Luna. See you later. Bye, Jupiter. Bye, Clyde. If I had an aquarium, I'd get lots and lots of clownfish. And if I had an aquarium, I'd have lots and lots of seahorses. Look! I drew a seahorse, Jupiter. Does he live in salt water or fresh water? Mine lives in salt water. Oh. Look. Now the water's really salty. <laughs> I think mine lives in salt water, too. Wow, your shark drawing is really good. Luna, the water in the ocean is salt water, right? Yeah. The ocean has salt water and rivers have fresh water. Did somebody put salt in the ocean to make it all salty? <laughs> no, nobody put salt in the ocean. It's just naturally salty. But why is the ocean salty? Hmm, why? Hmm, why is the ocean salty? I'm not sure. But I've just got to know what's happening here. There's a little fresh water, and on this microscope slide, there's nothing. <laughs> That's right. There's nothing yet. But we're going to make some tears for it. We're going to cry. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You see, tears are salty. Maybe fish and animals in the ocean cry, and their tears make the ocean salty. Yeah. Do you think the sharks cry too? They look tough. Mm, I'm not sure. Now let's all think sad thoughts and make some tears. Oh, Clyde, that was the funniest face I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing so hard that I'm crying. <laughs> <gasps> Did you say crying? <laughs> now we just have to mix the fresh water and tears and give it a good shake. And done. Now we've got some salty salt water. Oh. Taste it, Jupiter. I don't want to. You taste it. But they're your tears. It's your ocean. My ocean. Let me see if my ocean is good. Well, is it salty? Mm -hmm. This ocean doesn't taste salty at all. 
So maybe it's not the fish tears that makes the ocean salty. Maybe I didn't cry enough. Now what? How are we supposed to find out why the ocean is salty? We are going to... We're going to make believe that we're little grains of salt and head to the ocean. Yeah! yeah! We're grains of salt. Ah, uh, look out! Ah! Yeah! What's happening? I think that we're dissolving in the water. There's two of me. Me too. Amazing. There's two of each of us. But we're breaking apart. This water isn't salty at all, Luna. You're right. It's fresh water. We're in a river. Huh? What are we doing here? We're supposed, We're supposed to, go to go to the ocean. Oh, my. I, I think, think we're going, going to go over. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Look, all, all the, the grains of salt are coming from, from the rocks. That's it. That's, That's where salt comes from. Be so fun. This is the best experience ever. No. Ah! It's a whale! Where? Where? It just jumped right next to me. <laughs> that wasn't a whale, Clyde. It was just a little fish. It only seems so big because we're so little. We're heading down. That's it, then. We started as part of the rocks, and then the river washes us into the ocean. And it makes the ocean salty. Mmm, salty. I hope that great big whale fish doesn't come back. He was scary. How does salt get into the sea? It's carried there by rivers and streams. How does salt get into the sea? It's carried there by rivers and streams. Water washes over the land, taking salt from rocks and sand. It makes its way to the ocean, carried by rivers flowing motion. And that, my friends, you see is why the ocean is so salty. And now I'm a grain of salt. And I am just a little seahorse. Out in the ocean, all the salt meets up. Hello, how do you do? How are you? All that salt stays for millions of years. And that's why the ocean is salty like tears. How does salt get into the sea? It's carried there by rivers and streams. How does salt get into the sea? It's carried there by rivers and streams. We're mixing into the ocean water. I dissolved in the ocean. Now I'm going to be a new grade of salt. Be a new grain of salt too. Hello, Mr. Grain of Salt. Where are you from? I'm from Mars. I'm Martian salt. <laughs> no, you can't be from Mars. You have to be from somewhere here on Earth. I'm thirsty. Me too. Ah. Have some more too, please. Pretending to be salt sure does make you thirsty, huh? Uh-huh. We've just got to tell Dr. Jane what we've learned about the ocean. Let's go put on a show for her. The show is about to begin. Yay! Today, we'd like to present the Salty Ocean Show. Do you know why the ocean is salty? He doesn't know, Luna. Let's tell him why. How does salt get into the sea? It's carried there by rivers and streams. How does salt get into the sea? It's carried there by rivers and streams. Water 
washes over the land, taking soft from rocks and sand. It makes its way to the ocean, carried by rivers flow weed motion. And that, my friend, you see is why the ocean is so salty. Now I'm a grain of salt. But I'm still a seahorse. <laughs> Out in the ocean, <laughs> all the salt meets up. Hello, how do you do? How are you? She's a really good whistler. Really good. Almost like a, a, a bird singing. Do birds tweet or whistle? I wonder if they're singing or if they're just really good whistlers. So many questions. <laughs> Luna, where science is happening.